In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create a geometric pattern reveal for our logos. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and I'm continuing my series on 2D intros right here inside of After Effects, and we're going to be focusing on this logo. And a quick note before we get started is that we have a brand new account on Patreon and we'll be putting all of our new tutorial project files on Patreon. So I invite you guys to go ahead and please check that out. And if you enjoy this channel, I definitely would appreciate any support that you can give. And as we move forward here, we'll be producing better tutorials and we'll be reaching to new fields of content creation. So a lot of cool things for the channel to come. But anyway, let's just focus on this tutorial for right now. And I already have a tutorial composition, I have my logo and just, you know, a nice sort of dark gray background in here with a four color gradient. The first thing you want to do once you drop in your logo is you want to go up to layer, pre-compose, make sure the logo is the only one that was selected and call this new comp logo and click OK. And what's cool about this is we can double click the logo layer and we can scale this down by hitting S on our keyboard. What really was cool about doing this is that you set this up for a template format. So if you want to drop in a new logo in the future, you can just drop in a different logo or whatever and your main comp is not going to be affected. Okay, so we're going to go and create this pattern reveal now. And you can use pretty much any shape that you want. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to use the ellipse tool. You can use anything. Use a rectangle tool. You can use, you know, a triangle. It doesn't really matter at all. And I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool. And we're going to come here and just draw out a perfect circle. You can hold down shift, you know, to kind of draw out this nice uh, circle like this. And uh, basically now <laughs> we have to figure out how big we want this to be. So we'll go to like transform here. Uh, we'll go ahead and add a keyframe for scale. Set it down to 0%. And we'll go forward here by like a second. And we can come here and just make this really big, maybe like this. Um, we we'll go to the align tab and we can, of course, center this up. You know, no big deal. And if you don't see the align tab, go up to window align. And now we're going to go ahead and close ellipse one. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate ellipse one. And by going up to edit, duplicate. And go ahead and select the contents. Go to add. And let's add a merge paths. And go into the merge paths. Set the mode to exclude intersections. And if we hit U on our keyboard, we'll bring up all the keyframes here. Go ahead and select all the keyframes. Hit F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes. And let's offset these uh, just by touch or at least the two top keyframes here. And now we'll kind of have this imploding or this expanding and imploding circle, which I think is really awesome. And now that's pretty awesome. And of course, we can change the color up here at the top, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go up to effect, generate, fill. And I'll, I'll explain in a second why we're doing it like this. But we'll go here and set this to our primary color and click OK. And then let's go and maybe rename this layer to circle one and let's duplicate it. And let's go ahead and change this color to uh, like a secondary color. Boom. And we come here and offset this by a touch. And that's pretty cool. And then let's go and duplicate it one more time. And we'll set this to our, you know, the third color in your palette if you have a third color. And we can offset this by a touch. And now we kind of have this beautiful imploding circle. And it has different colors. And now we're going to talk about why we did fill. So we're going to duplicate this like crazy. And we're going to have tons of circles in here. And if we wanted to change any of these colors a little bit later, it would be insanely difficult. So let's go up to layer, new, null object. And we call this one color control. So make sure the color control is selected. Go up to effect, generate, fill. And let's duplicate this three times and go here, just select the pen tool here or the eyedropper tool and select each of these three colors like this. And easy as pie. And let's go to circle one here. Let's all click the stopwatch for color. Click on the color control, grab the pick whip down here and set this to the color of the uh, paint top fill up here for under color. And now we go here to the color tab up here. We can change the color of this and it automatically updates. And that will be insanely awesome when we start duplicating this. And we'll do the same thing for the fill down here. Select the color control, pick whip it to the second fill color and do it for the last circle. And this way you'll be completely, you know, set up for success and you'll be able to change this all later. And now we have this all under one color control source. And that's pretty awesome. So we can make sure our circle layers are selected. Hit S on the keyboard for scale and scale this down to maybe like right here or so. So now all we have to do is select our circles, duplicate them, bring them to the top here and just come over here, offset them and we'll start creating sort of this like huge collage of circles. 
really the goal here is to make sure that you can cover up your logo. And it's always good to go outside of your logo uh, just so you can scale it up a little bit later. And, you know, if you need to swap things out, it'll completely take the form. So don't be afraid to kind of outline it. It's totally cool and it'll make it easy. So I'll be back once this is done. So we went really crazy here. Now we have 105 circles. Uh, I know this has been insane, but make sure to go ahead and select some of these and offset them. All right, so I went ahead and offset them just by a touch. So let's go ahead and select all of our layers here, all of our circle layers and our color control. And let's go here and pre-compose it. And we call this one group of circles. Click OK. And now this should be a little bit faster. So we're going to go here and duplicate our logo layer. And we're going to bring this logo layer above our group of circles. Set the group of surf circles track mat to alpha mat. And we turn off our logo layer down here. As you see, these circles now take the form of our logo. And that looks pretty good. What we want to do is reveal our actual logo on. So we can turn our logo on here at the bottom. And you see we see our logo. Um, the only problem is we don't want it to be there. So we can come here and offset it. Or sorry, bring in the end point. Uh, but the only problem is it kind of pops up like that. And, and there's really no good place to do this because there's transparency all through our logo. So like right here is the best area to really bring it in. But it would just be like an annoying jump cut. So what I should just do to keep this easy, grab the ellipse tool and just draw out, you know, a circle in the point in the center here. And that'd be okay. And you go ahead and go to the align tab, center this up, hit S on your keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for it, and bring it back in time. Set the scale down to 0%. And we'll go ahead and put this layer right above our logo layer here and set our logo layer to alpha matte. So now it'll kind of just expand on like that. And we can go ahead and just time this out appropriately, depending on what we're trying to do here. And that should be just fine since we're using with circle. So I would just go with any sort of shape that you're using. And, you know, it looks good. Maybe make these both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes. And we can grab the textile tool, type out our, you know, our maybe company text or whatever, and go back to the line tab and center this up. And I'm using my favorite font, Lotto, for the text. And we can grab our shape layer one here, duplicate it, and bring it on top of our Sunduck film layer and set the Sunduck film layer to alpha matte. And go grab the ellipse here and kind of try to center this up right here. And now we'll have this revealing on just like that. And we can come here and maybe just offset this layer just by a touch. So like we want this, uh, the text to come on, like say right here and bring this back. And now that will come on and we have, and now we kind of have this nice pattern reveal for our logo. And let's toggle switch to the modes and turn on motion blur for everything here. Go back into the group circles and make sure to turn on motion blur for everything. And then let's go back to the top here and turn it on at the top. And after a quick render, this is what we have. And it looks like a very nice, simple, clean reveal on that you can use for patterns. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.